बिस्मिल्लाम असलम वेलकम यू इन द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ रीजनल पब्लिक स्कूल एंड इंटर कॉलेज साहिवाल स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन एंड इंजॉइंग गुड हेल्थ आई एम स्मीना सरदार सीनियर टीचर एट रीजनल पब्लिक स्कूल एंड इंटर कॉलेज साहिवाल I am going to present a maths lesson for class three. Students, the objective of today's lesson are: by the end of the lesson, students will be able to identify the proper and improper fraction, identify the like fractions and unlike fractions. dear students we have already learned about fraction first of all we will revise the main points of the previous lesson you know what is whole what is half what is quarter today we will revise it the object and the thing the complete circle we have in this picture that is whole when we divide this object into two equal parts then each part is called one half when we divide an object into four equal parts then each part is called one quarter when we join two halves then we get one whole when we join two quarters then we get one half and if we join four quarters then we get one whole dear students we have different fractions the fraction has main parts numerator and the denominator here is a pizza that is divided into four equal parts and the one part is used and we have three parts here so the fraction for this is 3 over 4 here 3 is the numerator and the fourth is denominator students today we will learn about the types of fraction its content is proper fraction improper fraction like fractions and unlike fractions first of all we will discuss about proper fraction dear students as you know fraction is a part of the whole here we have this a and we divided it into four equal parts one part is used and the fraction for this is a is 3 over 4 that is less than 1 so we can say proper fraction are always less than 1 so we can say numerator is always less than the denominator in proper fraction numerator is less than the denominator example here is one more fraction 3 over 5 a fraction where the numerator the top number is less than the denominator we can compare this 3 is less than 5 so we can say numerator is less than the denominator so it is proper fraction here are some more examples 1 over 4 5 over 6 in both the examples numerator is less than the denominator so we can say both 1 over 4 and 5 over 6 are also proper fraction we can define a proper fraction is just a fraction 
where the numerator the top number is less than the denominator here are some examples of proper fraction 1 over 2 1 over 4 and 3 over 8 in all these fractions numerator is less than the denominators now we will discuss improper fraction as you are looking at the shapes there are one complete pizza and the one quarter of pizza and if we join and we write a fraction for this pizza that will be 5 over 4 we have five total parts and one pizza is divided into four equal parts so the fraction for this is 5 over 4 and we can see this five quarters are greater than 1 so we can say here numerator is greater than the denominator this is called improper fraction here we have one more example here we have two rectangles one is complete and the other one is divided into three parts and we have colored two parts so the fraction for the colored part is 5 over 3 we can see there is one whole and 2 over 3 we can say the numerator is greater than the denominator so we can say this is greater than 1 so it is an improper fraction so we can say an improper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator now we have two circles and the colored part of this circle are 7 so the fraction for the colored part is 7 over 4 if we compare we can know 7 is greater than 4 so we can say 7 over 4 is an improper fraction we can do more practice by solving this now we can identify each a proper fraction or improper fraction by comparing the numerators and the denominators in a part we have 5 over 8 here we can say numerator is less than the denominator so we can say it is a proper fraction students can you tell me can you tell me if we have 7 over 7 then what will be the fraction as we have already learned that a fraction with a numerator that is greater than or equal to the denominator is known as an improper fraction so we can say 7 over 7 is an improper fraction in c part there is 14 over 13 here we will compare we can say 14 is greater than 13 so we can say numerator is greater than the denominator so it is also an improper fraction next in d part 13 over 14 we can compare and we know 13 is less than 14 so we can say it is a proper fraction in e part 24 over 10 we have 24 as a numerator and 10 is denominator by comparing we can say numerator is greater than the denominator so it is an improper fraction let's move to the second segment now look at these squares there are three squares 
and they are divided into four equal parts. First square, there is one colored part. So, fraction for the colored part is 1 over 4. In the second square, two parts are colored. So, fraction for the colored part is 2 over 4. In the third square, three parts are colored. So, fraction for the colored part is 3 over 4. In all the fractions, denominator is the same. So, the fractions, they have same denominators are called like fractions. Next, we will discuss unlike fractions. Next, there are three circles. The first circle is divided into two parts. One part is shaded. So, fraction for the colored part is 1 over 2. In the second circle, that is divided into three parts and two parts are shaded. So, fraction for the colored part is 2 over 3. In the third circle, the circle is divided into four parts and three parts are shaded. So, fraction for the colored part is 3 over 4. In all the three fractions, denominators are different. In the first fraction, denominator is 2. In the second fraction, denominator is 3. And in the third fraction, denominator is 4. So, these type of fraction, they have different denominators are called unlike fractions. We have already learned in the previous activity about like fraction and unlike fraction. Now we can easily define like fraction or unlike fractions. Fractions with the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 4 over 5 and 3 over 5. Both the fraction have same denominator. So these type of fractions are called like fractions. In B part, we have 2 over 7, 4 over 7 and 5 over 7 and all three fractions have same denominator. So, these type of fraction are called like fractions. And Fractions with the different denominators are called unlike fractions. We have example 7 over 9 and 2 over 6. In both the fractions, denominators are different. So, these type of fraction are called unlike fraction. In second example, 3 over 8 and 7 over 4. Both the fractions have different denominators. So, these type of fraction are called unlike fraction. Now, we will do some more practice to identify the like fraction or unlike fraction. In A part, we have 1 over 3 and 2 over 3. These type of fraction have same denominator are called like fractions. In B part, there is 3 over 7 and 3 over 4. In both the fractions, denominators are different. So, these type of fraction are called unlike fractions. In C part, we have 7 over 9 and 8 over 9. And both the fraction have same denominator. So, these are like fractions. Next, in D part, 1 over 4 and 1 over 3. Can you tell me which type of fraction is this? Both the fractions have different denominator. So, it is unlike fractions. Next, in E part, 4 over 5 and 1 over 5. Both the fractions have same denominator. So, these type of fractions are called like fractions. In F part, we have 2 over 8 and 2 over 9. Both the fractions have different denominator, so 
Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fraction. So, these are unlike fractions. Now, we will revise the main points of our lesson. Our first point is what are like fractions? Can you tell me what are like fractions? Fractions with the same denominators are called like fraction. For example, 3 over 5 and 2 over 5. Both the fraction has same denominator. So, this is called like fractions. Next, what are unlike fractions? Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 1 over 9 and 2 over 7. Both the fractions have different denominator. So, these are called unlike fraction. What are proper fraction? Fractions in which the numerator is the less than the denominator. For example, 3 over 7. Here, 3 is smaller than 7. So, this type of fraction is called proper fraction. Next, what are improper fraction? Fraction in which numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Just like 9 over 7. Here, 9 is greater than 7. So, 9 over 7 will be the improper fraction. Now, it's time for the homework class. Students, you have to write three examples of improper fraction and proper fraction. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Have a nice day.